Alrighty, hey guys, this is Garrison over at Massey Toyota, and here in front of me I've got a 2016 Toyota Sequoia SR5. This particular one is in the Pyrite Mica exterior, and we do have the graphite leather. Now coming to our window sticker, we do have a few options. We do have the auto dimming rear view mirror, premium audio with navigation, premium package, clear paint protection door and hood package, carpet mat and a phone charger for a total of 51,456. Gas mileage is going to be 13 city and 17 highway. Coming to our wheels, we are riding on Bridgestone tires and these are going to be our 18 inch alloy wheels. Coming around back, we do have rear parking sensors as well as a rear backup camera and then of course your um, power sliding rear glass. So let's go ahead and step inside this one. This one does have 47 miles on it, and so we'll stick our key in the ignition and start it up. So let's check out under the hood. Now coming underneath the hood, we do have the 5.7 liter dual overhead cam iForce V8. It does produce 381 horsepower and 401 foot-pounds of torque to the rear wheels in this example through a six-speed automatic transmission. So let's go ahead and check out the interior. Now stepping back in, as I said before, we do have the graphite leather on this model, and it's gonna be a fully powered driver's seat with power lumbar as well as power thigh extension. Now coming to our door panel, we do have some padded materials down here on our armrest, as well as power windows, locks, little storage could be right here, and some bottle storage down below. Now over here to the left of the steering wheel, we do have our power mirrors, as well as dome lights, as well as panel dim, and our headlight washers right there. Then coming to the steering wheel, we do have a four-spoke leather-wrapped wheel with side bolster and grip extensions. We do have our audio, Bluetooth, and cruise controls. Then over on the left, we do have our automatic headlights, fog lights, and blinkers. And then over on the right, our variable moment and speed wipers. Down here, tucked underneath your wiper stock, we do have our power rear window control right here, as well as traction control off. Your information controls for your driver information system right up there and then we do have our sonar controls for our backup sensors now coming to our audio system pressing audio right here and then source we do have am fm xm cd usb bluetooth streaming audio and auxiliary going to apps right here we do have a full-fledged navigation system in this model with hd traffic going to destination we can input an address select from point of interest or designate a preset down below Going back home, we do have a split screen view. Then down below here, we've got our tri-zone automatic climate controls with our fan speeds, our two temperature, and our modes right here. Then your rear seat um, controls right there. We do have some heated seats down here, USB and auxiliary inputs, as well as tow haul mode. Two 12-volt power outlets down here, various storage cubbies. And then here's our shifter for our six-speed automatic with sport mode and manual shift. Of course, in reverse, you do have your backup camera and your sonar system will activate. Cup holders over here as well as a nice ashtray. Then underneath here you do have some more storage as well. Center console is nice and padded and then looking inside of there we do have plenty of room. Our manuals are tucked down in there as well as a 12 volt power outlet. And you do have room for file storage so if you want to put in some hanging files you can do that as well. We do have two glove boxes on this model. As you can see the bottom one does lock and then the top one is a um, just an auxiliary extra one. Up top, we do have our auto dimming review mirror with compass and garage home link. We saw that on the window sticker, that was an extra option. We do have a vanity mirror on our sun visor and it does pull out and slide to adjust. Map lights over here as well as a little conversation mirror, sunglass storage and our controls for our power sunroof right here. So let's go ahead and check out the rear seat. Now accessing your third row has been made very simple by Toyota. You just go ahead and lift up on this lever right here and your seat will slide forward. Now this mechanism is mimicked on the other side of the vehicle since this is a 40-20-40 split folding bench. And so we'll go ahead and view our passageway right here. And then we do have some buttons over here. This is actually for your power folding third row. We do have some buttons in behind the third row as well. So if we're in the cargo area, we can drop it as well. This one, this top one right here is to adjust the recline of the third row. As you can see, I'm adjusting it right there. And then this is to fold it. So going ahead and stepping in, pulling our seat back. As you can see, I do have plenty of knee room back here. If you remember all the room I had in the second row, I still got adequate room back here. Foot room down below is okay. And then my knees aren't actually up in my chin, unlike most vehicles in this class. Now coming over here, looking at our sides, we do have some cup holders, little storage cubby right here, and then storage down below. Then you do have your controls for your right side as well. Up top, ventilation ducts, coat hooks and cornering handles, as well as some illumination up top. Now, down here, we'll go ahead and press this little black button right here, and that will make it very easy to slide your second row forward. So we'll go ahead and 
exit out and we will check out the cargo area. Now coming around back, I'll go ahead and demonstrate the power rear glass right quick. And so just you'll go ahead and take your key right here, insert it, and then we'll twist and hold to the left. It will unlock your doors as well as roll down that power window. That makes it very easy to um, toss in some smaller items right quick without opening up the full hatch. And then twist and hold to the right to make it go back up. Now we'll go ahead and unlock again. Membrane underneath here is to open up the full hatch. And then behind your third row, as you can see, you do have adequate room for a few grocery bags. So you can keep this third row up full time. And then if you would like to, you can just press your buttons over here and it will fold flat. Now, if you'll notice on the back of the second row, we do actually have some carpets to bridge the gap between the second and the third row. So if you're um, hauling some larger items or some smaller ones, in fact, you don't have to worry about it falling and getting stuck in between that gap. Over on the right side, we do have a little 12 volt outlet. Over on the left, we do have a little storage cubby right here, as well as some bag hooks. And then underneath our floor, we do have storage as our spare tire is located underneath the vehicle. So we'll go ahead and close up and then that'll be it for this 2016 Toyota Sequoia SR5. Now, if you're interested in this vehicle or any of the model out here at Massey Toyota, feel free to contact them. All their information is in the description below. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.